breaking the rules. Episode 1 Here you go. Enjoy your meal. Just look at her. She's desperate to get his attention. Oh, come on. So annoying. Yes? Because of her, the boss now keeps making me smile for tips. He says if I don't, he'll fire me. Because he's a bastard. Hey, girls. Can either of you two cover for me for half an hour? I've been invited for an interview. All right, I'll cover for you. Thank you, Dasha. Mm -hmm. What a complete idiot. If I was her, I would first finish with my tables and get all the tips, <laughs> and only then take off. Uh, I'd like to ask you something, Marina, if you don't mind. What made you decide to move to the capital? It was hard to find a job where my husband and I used to live, uh, the capital offers more opportunities for well, us. That's just your opinion. This is a typical misconception that the provincials used to justify their move to the capital. Mm. Now, for some reason, you think that there are not enough good experts in the provincial. Mm. Your resume is just a piece of paper. Why should I believe anything that's written here? You can call my previous employers and they'll confirm that, uh... I won't waste my time. The position that you're applying for, Chief Financial Director, involves an in-depth involvement with VIP clients. VIP, you understand? Well, look at you. You're unsuitable for this position. Have you seen yourself in the mirror? What do you think you look like? Hmm? Who gave you the right to get personal? This is the behavior of a brute, not a businessman. And I have no desire to work for such unprofessional people. Hmm. <sighs> ah. Do you have a death wish? Do you have a death wish? What were you doing? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Maybe we should call an ambulance. Thanks. No, don't. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, I said I'm fine. Uh, you need a taxi? No. She just came out of nowhere. Okay, let's go. She must be crazy. She could have died, or scratched the car. Let's go. When does our flight leave? In less than an hour. Registration already started. Plan B? Yes. Good boys, sit. Don't get me dirty. There we go, thank you. Are you all right? Yes. Hey, are you sure? I'm okay. That's good. Here, this is for thank you. Thank you. Can I ask that you please come an hour later tomorrow? Okay, I will. Oh, well, we you. gotta go. Have a good day. Boys, Bruce, you. come on. Bye. <sighs> Hmm. 
This plane feels more like a sauna. Aren't you hot? It'll be cooler now. He's going for it. Oh, and he Come on. Goal. Faster, he's pass the ball. I'm now. trying to relax. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Petrov's coming up Move! Seems to have a plan. You won't get into the he's Champions the League ball. again. He's got the ball. How the hell did you guys even get this far? Petrov passes to Volkov. Popov takes it from him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Aren't you deaf from watching so much football? Mm -hmm. There's only five minutes left. Why are you so angry? I called you a hundred times, but you never picked up. Check your messages. Something happened. You could say that. I didn't get the job at the bank. It seems like the capital only judges you by your looks. No, no, no. Relax, if they didn't hire you, someone else will. Yes, maybe. How are you? Mm, great. It's a draw, we have a chance. I'm serious. Has anyone responded to your resume? Not yet, let's wait and see. They've lost again. The team of crybabies. Well, Roman, maybe... You should reconsider what you'd be happy to earn. Why should I? Because it's unrealistic, even in the capital. Marina, I'm a highly trained engineer. <sighs> Roman, lower your expectations and you'll get a job offer. I don't want to work for peanuts at some shabby company. Mm-hmm. And do you think that I do? I don't want to carry dirty dishes, walk other people's dogs, while you're just waiting here for the perfect job. Well, I'm not just waiting, but gaining strength for great future accomplishments. Where are here? What do we have? Where are we Mr. Bogdanovich, where did you get these documents? Oh, you know, a little bird. You know this tale? And tell me, what are you going to do with all this? Well, I have two options. First, I send these papers to Mr. Varyagin, and he understands. Who is stealing right out of his pocket? Second, you start working for me. You see? In your company? Don't play it dumb, Oleg. You stay to work with Mr. Varyagin and do exactly what I tell you to. And when his business becomes mine, I'll take you as a partner. <laughs> Can I think about it? No. Unless you want your boss to see the documents, decide right now. By the way, if you don't want your boss to kick you out ahead of time, deal with a cash shortage and be quick. Will you help me? Nope. You stole. You figure out how to solve it. <laughs> to your health. Bon appetit. Thank you. I'm already in Rome. Mm -hmm. I'll be presenting my project to potential customers, that's all. This is purely a business trip. Mom. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell you everything when I get home, okay? Sorry, I have another call coming in. Right. Good evening. Good evening. May I come in? Did something happen? I'm busy right now. I have a terrible headache. I thought 
Maybe you have some painkillers? I do. Wait here. Hmm. Here are the pills. Anything else? I thought that... maybe alcohol would help me better. They say it expands blood vessels. Listen, Inga. Any form of relationship, including a sexual one, is not in my plans right now. Therefore, I suggest that you just focus on your job. If during the conference we establish contacts with the Italians and launch a joint project, this will open up excellent prospects for us. Go ahead and prepare all the paperwork that we will need for tomorrow's meeting, okay? Work is also known to improve blood circulation and also expands blood vessels. All right. Good night, Anton. Good night, Inga. Well, did you find anyone? I am looking, Oleg. Still looking. What are you mumbling under your breath? Speak up. Found him. Excellent. I'm sorry. I just had a bad day. Yeah? Yeah, it's me. I'm well, thanks. Yeah, I can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I know where it is. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, have a good day. Who was that? Larry Yagen's company called. They offered me a job. <gasps> they said that they have selected me from 50 <gasps> candidates. That's amazing! I know that name. Larry Yagen. The Isn't famous that... architect, Marina. He has a lot of international awards. Oh, he Mom. builds buildings of the future. I can't <gasps> believe it. It's like winning a lottery. Can you imagine? I knew you were very talented. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Mom, I did everything right. Then why didn't it work? How should I know? Maybe he's impotent. Listen to me, daughter. We don't care what sexual problems he has. You can find a level later. And? So what should I do now? Become irreplaceable for him. His right and left hand all at the same time. We can talk about that in the morning. Go to bed now or you'll have dark circles mm -hmm. under your eyes. Okay, bye. I think crimson looks the best on you. Try this one. I like it. No, it looks cheap. It's a nice tie. It looks like it was bought at a discount store. I have to give the impression of a respectable person. A tie isn't the best thing to make an impression with. Well, don't worry about that. I know how to present myself with powerful people. Don't be so anxious. They've chosen you already. Just stay calm and don't brag too much. What? When did I ever brag about myself? Yeah, I had the highest salary among all the engineers of our city, but I deserved it. I didn't want to offend you. Of course, you are very smart and talented, and you'll do great. While you're at your interview, I'll go to the store, buy groceries, and make your favorite cheesecake, okay? And buy some wine? Let's celebrate a new life. Okay. Okay. Now do I look? Great. You look good. Okay then. Mm. Gotta go. Bye. Good luck. Mm. Bye.
I'll repeat once again. We buy gravel from other suppliers. No, I will not change the agreements. No, tell them that. Later. What do you have? Here. What's this? A report on the purchase of the materials of three sites in the Southwest. But the numbers are different. I haven't figured out what's going on yet, but... Where did you get this document? I was working with our database in the archive, checking the documents, and I found a discrepancy. Taki, thank you so much. I'll figure out everything. Oleg, I think it is necessary to inform Mr. Vayagin about that. Perhaps someone is fiddling with the books and we need to find out who. That is a possibility, you're right. I will report this to Anton myself and we will figure out who's behind it. Uh, I promise you. But I will ask you not to mention it to anyone yet. Not to scare the culprit. We must catch them unawares. Understand? Thank you for your vigilance, Taki. Thank you, please. You may return to your office. Oh. Not a word to anyone. Come to my office. On my way. Yes? Here, have a look. These are the real purchase figures, and the difference is well, it's pretty big. I already know what that is. How could this document be in free access? Taki brought it to me. She was so disturbed. I don't know. Yes. Maybe some. Oleg, a man has arrived for an interview. Uh, Mr. Roman Kazensev. Show him to the meeting room. Hmm? Okay. Well, that's good news. Everything will be fine. Yeah? Hello, Mr. Kazantsev. Hello. Have a seat. My name is Oleg Baranovsky. I am the head of the supply department. This is my assistant, Mr. Vince Chuikov. <coughs> Hello. We had lost all hope to find the right person when suddenly we came across your resume. And we unanimously decided that is him. Yes. A perfect hit. Exactly who we were looking for for this position. A miracle. I'm humbled to hear that. <laughs> Let me get straight to the point. Roman, we offer you a better start. We still need an engineer to fill this position. Uh, but your track record matches another vacancy. Have a look. We want you to be a lead engineer at the estimating department. What do you think about that? Hmm? Uh, I'm not very uh, familiar with the ins and outs of this job, and It pays three times what you're looking for, excluding the signing bonus. Uh, listen, Roman, this job is entirely within your expertise. I understand people very well, and I see right away who is capable of what. I see potential in you. Initially, Vince will be helping you every step of the way. There will be a learning curve. What do you say? Although, I don't want to be pushy. If you're scared and secure and unprepared for such an incredible opportunity, no, not at all. I'm ready, I'm ready. I was just in shock. When do I start? <clears throat> Excellent. My congratulations. Congratulations, I think this is a win. Yes. Hmm? Excellent. And finally, I want to say that our project was awarded not only the title 
best architectural project in the nomination of the year, but also received partial government funding as well. I believe I speak for all of us when I say we are very excited by the prospect of working with such an incredible company. Thank you for your wonderful presentation, Mr. Varyagin. That concludes our presentations for the evening. If you could all make your way to the next room, we will leave you all to mingle. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Mancini, my name is Inga. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Don't worry, I also get nervous with these things. <sighs> Just a You're little bit. You're too kind. I want to say that I am amazed by the high professionalism of Italian architects. You're a credit to your field. And in my opinion, your company is a leader in its field. Thank you, that's so nice of you. <laughs> now I understand why my boss, Mr. Variagin, dreams of working with you. You are incredible. <clears throat> because he has good taste, and not only in architecture, but also in his choice of beautiful employees. Thank you. Uh, would you like to discuss your project in a more... Uh, yes. ...informal setting, maybe, <laughs> huh? With pleasure. What do you say? This way, beautiful. <sighs> ah. <sighs> oh, mamma mia. <sighs> 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 You may consider that project to be yours. <laughs> Thank you. And one more thing. I want to become a key participant in this project. Ooh. So I will have to fly here with Variagin. You got it for sure. <laughs> Remember to stop by. Today I met Mr. Mancini. Tomorrow we will have a meeting about the project. You don't look good, Oleg. How is everything? How are you coping without me there? <laughs> I'm on it. Don't worry. We found someone for the estimating department. I've sent you his resume. Very smart man. I think he'll fit right in. I hope you'll approve. I believe in you. Anything else? If you need time off, tell me. When I return, you'll get the time off. No, Anton, I am fine. But we do have a problem. Taki is acting weird. Who's Taki? Our chief accountant. She's making more and more mistakes the past few weeks. It's time for her to retire before she messes up badly. Hmm. I'll deal with it when I return, okay? I wouldn't risk it. Anton, we have a contract with the Italian partners. I think she might be ill. Alzheimer's or something else. She either forgets or talks about some... I can't put it into words, but she's not fit to work anymore. Maybe she's still mourning. You know how hard she took her husband's death. Anton, what do you mean? That was a year ago. It may well be a belated reaction. I propose to pay her good compensation and help her get medical. Lose this moment, and the damage will be irreversible. This way, she still gets to hold on to her dignity. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. But we, uh, have to handle it somewhat delicately. With respect, you know. She's been here for years. I promise we will handle this delicately. Come in. Well? How are we doing here? Honestly? I still don't understand everything. That's okay, ask away. Well, first of all, these documents need a defective report. And that's not all. We uh, also need blueprints and statements on physical volumes of construction works. Roman, you are digging too deep. Our calculations are accurate. But if necessary, Kate will provide you with all the papers. In the meantime, feel free to sign this. Mr. Chuikov. No need to be so formal. Call me Vince, okay? All right. Come on. You're totally stressed out. Yeah, a little bit. You need to relax. I just realized we haven't celebrated yet. 
<laughs> we will fix it now. Voila. To great future achievements. To you, Roman. To you as well. Oh, no, no, no. To you. Okay, then. Retirement? What retirement? I'm not ready for that. Taki, please. Don't make it hard. Our company is planning a reorganization of sorts. We're revamping everything. We're laying off not only you, but also a dozen more employees. I have to talk to Mr. Varyagin. Of course. But he's not here. I'm in charge of the reorganization. Uh, this is his decision. This is his personal decision. Please, don't worry. It'll be okay. We will compensate you. We will give you a send-off worthy of a queen. You'll be handsomely compensated. We'll make sure that you'll be taken care of. Take a moment to gather yourself, then prepare the paperwork. How about... You know what? I'll take care of it. Have a good Have day. A good day. Have, Have a good, a good day. day. Did something happen, Techie? She got fired. They suddenly decided to retire her. How so? Marina? Roman, are you drunk? We celebrated, drank two new partnership and friendship. We got a bit carried away. You're drunk on the first day? I told you we celebrated. Oh, I feel sick. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Roman, how could you? How could you take a job you're not qualified for, even more so if you have signatory power? I can't believe you did this. Don't scream, my head is going to explode. How many have you signed? As many documents as it was necessary. You really don't understand how serious this is. Did I have to refuse this job offer? How are we going to pay for the shack, huh? But soon, soon we will. Move to an elite apartment in the city center. Roman, this is not a joke. And I'm not kidding. You will email me all of the documents that they will give you to sign. What? Do you think I'm a complete idiot? I'll take care of everything myself, understood? And finally, the seventh floor of the Evolution Shopping Center. This is why we wanted to work with him. He's a visionary. There'll be a skating rink with a I already like the surface. look of these designs, don't you? There are five sites for extreme sports, which you can decide on later. It would be good to have a place with multiple centers. We'd be the first. A large entertainment area for children. Everyone knows that theme parks are making a huge comeback. And seven themed cafes. I think that we should give them a shot. Thank you, Anton. Ardino, stop it. We beg your forgiveness for Mancini's nephew's behavior during this meeting. As he always likes to say, Dino is much better suited for seducing girls than doing business. It's okay. It's all right. Now, Mr. Mancini needs to discuss the terms of participation in your project with his business partner. Of course, we'll leave you to it. Thank you, Mr. Mancini. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Oh, my 
head is buzzing. We can change that in a moment. Let's have a shot. No, no, thank you. Yesterday was enough for me. Straight to the point, then. All right. Sign here. And the next page. Leave them to me. I will read and sign them. No time for reading, old chap. They have a limited promotion. The prices will skyrocket by this afternoon. Hurry up and sign it. Then I can go make the purchases. Here you go. You have made the right decision. Friends, if I can have your attention, I would like to take a moment of your time. Today we are gathered here to thank the most dedicated, wonderful employees of our company. Taki, darling, with your honest and selfless dedication, you have deserved some rest and in addition to all the payments, I want to present you with a little extra, uh, this reward and a valuable prize. Vince. Please accept this modest gift from us. Hmm? Well done, Taki. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. To your health, Taki. Excuse me. Taki, don't be upset. Now is the time you can work from home. It's even more convenient. How, um, how old are you? Excuse me, Kate, may I? Everything is going according to plan. I'll call you back. Have a nice day. Yes? I'm not stupid, Mr. Baranovsky. You sacked me not because of the reorganization, but because I learned something I should not have. But if you think that I will be silent, then you're deeply mistaken. I will tell Anton everything when he returns from his business trip. Well, Tataki! Hooray! Hooray! Cheers! Hooray. Cheers. Marina? Hi. How are things at work? I understand that you don't believe in me, but oh. the result is obvious. What is that? This is an advance payment plus salary plus bonuses. Roman, nobody would pay so much money. Marina, that's enough. I understand that you are sad that you have to serve all kinds of idiots in a cheap eatery and walk dogs for a penny while your husband is shoveling up money. So quit then and take care of yourself. You will have to accompany me, communicate with people of a high circle. You need to change your outfit. And actually, maybe you should take some style courses because Marina, you're not really fit to be the wife of a man of my level. Marina, listen. I love you in any outfit. But a beautiful dress wouldn't hurt. You can afford the most expensive dresses. Hmm? I want to make you happy, you know. You should quit, Roman. Before it's too late. Well, I decided to pay you a visit like a good neighbor. 
Did something happen? There... there is someone. We need to call the police. They'll find those bastards. Don't do this, Petra. I know who did it. Do you know them? Then we surely need to call the police. No. Why? Because we will not be able to prove it. And most importantly... I'm afraid of him. Who is he? Petr, I'll tell you. If you promise me. But you will not do anything about it. We need to check these prices. This looks like twice the price they usually charge us. We have already worked with this concrete. Roman, just sign it. Hello, text police. Yeah? Are you Roman Kazantsev? Yes, why? We will have to seize the original financial documents. On what basis? On the basis of our lead investigator's findings. Based on the evidence that proves the illegal acts committed by an official are related to the falsification of documents and theft of company funds on an especially large scale. What? I don't understand. How? Roman, can you explain what you have done? I've done. This is some kind of misunderstanding. You will come with us to testify. We'll figure it out. Is it urgent? I only have two minutes. I'm afraid it is. We have an emergency. Do you remember I hired a new guy? Yes, I remember. So what? That was my mistake. Sorry, I wasn't careful enough. What happened? This bastard immediately began to steal big sums of money. Now we have the tax police on our door. You can fire me, Anton. How did the police get to him? I don't know. Apparently, he has long been suspected and... In that case, there is nothing to worry about. Stop blaming yourself. I need you. No, oh, please. Sorry, man. Gotta go now. When I return, we'll deal with it. All right. You've got a talent for this. Psychology, Vince. Psychology. How is our little... criminal doing? He's already been taken away. He's gone. Oh, good, good. That's good. Good news indeed. Testing witnesses, please observe. Yes, we have one. Kate, there's a courier from the printing house. You are welcome. Come on in. Miss, where are you going? Can you let me through, please? Um, I am the wife of Roman Kazantsev. I really need to see him. He's not answering his phone. The thing is, Mr. Kazantsev was arrested and taken away by the tax police. Taken away? Where? To the tax office. I want to talk to his management. I can't allow that. You're not on the list, Listen, my husband has been framed, and I must... I have to talk to someone. Please let me through.
Baranovsky's office is at the side wall of the corridor to the left of this door. Thank you. Thanks. The colors were brighter on the layout. Excuse me, miss. Miss, where are you going? I'm looking for Mr. Baranovsky. He isn't here. He's left. What do you mean? The guard at the entrance told me he'd be here. We have two exits, one to the street, the other to the courtyard. Mr. Baranovsky took the second one. Who are you and how did you get here? Excuse me? I'm sorry, may I speak to you? Yes. <clears throat> How do you know your husband was framed? It's obvious he was hired for this. It looks like that first Tacky was fired and now this. Sorry, who? My friend Tacky, the chief accountant. They didn't just fire her, they're intimidating her. I'm going to the police. What are you gonna tell them? <gasps> do you have proof? This isn't their first rodeo. They're good at this. So you cannot deal with them that easily. So what should I do? The law has no power over them. They have connections who protect them from the law. You can deal with them only using their ways, by breaking the rules. You know what? I'll give you Taki's address. Mm. Maybe you two can work something out. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Kazansev, step outside. Face to the wall, hands behind your back. Move on. Face to the wall. Move along. police search. They found your money in the kitchen. It's all their fault. Who are they? Baranovsky and Trikov. They forced me to sign these documents. Bergyagin himself ordered them most likely. He stole and decided to shift the blame on me. Roman, don't worry. I'll think of something. I'll get you out of here, I promise. Are you? I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Taki? My name is Marina. I'm Mr. Kazantsev's wife. What do you need? I know that you were recently fired from the company, and I know why. And then my husband, Roman, was framed. I'm sure it's connected, and now he faces real jail time. Can you help me? I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Taki, please wait!
Good afternoon. Would you like to try the most delicious croissants in town? I'll have one espresso, please. You're on a strict diet. That's all right. I surely respect it. Got it. One espresso will do. Signor Mancini has considered your proposal for a partnership, and he's weighed all of the pros and cons. We accept it. <laughs> he agrees with it. That's amazing news. I'm glad to hear it. So you agree too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that things would go this way. Anton already spoke to me about all the details. Thank you, Signor Mancini, for your agreement. He's really glad that we're on the same page. And now I propose to move on to discussing the terms of our further cooperation. There were just a few more things that he wanted to discuss with you to make sure that everything is in place. S with pleasure. Oh, bravo, Signor Mancini, bravo. He made five grand on this deal. It was his first time. Just imagine. That's good, huh? Yeah, you could say that he got lucky. <clears throat> good morning. Morning. Can I buy documents from you? Employee records. An ID? Hmm. Are you looking for templates? We've got them. No, I don't think you understand. I need filled in documents. I mean, with seals and signatures inside. Is this some kind of joke? Are you hiding a camera? Where? It's against the law. I don't deal with that. Fine. Hey, Mike. I've got a client for records and an ID. I got you. Excuse me? I know a guy. Mm -hmm. He's called Mike. He'll help you. Registration in the capital. No, I wrote Wait, everything don't here. Move. You can pay later. All right. Look this way. Turn right. Uh huh. Give me the cash now. Now? Yeah. So that's it. This is what you owe for this job. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Why is it so expensive? I'll explain this once. The price for this service is not fixed. I judge by what the client looks like. That's how I decide. I see. So I made a good impression? Mm-hmm. So we have a deal. Yes. Good girl. Okay. See you. <laughs> You're definitely a loser. <laughs> How so? Plead not guilty, or make your masters pay you for covering their asses. That's what they deserve for what they did, or you'll go to jail for nothing. You got it? 
I won't plead guilty. This wasn't my fault. Yes, but pleading not guilty won't be enough. Who gives a damn? Hmm? Hey! Listen, I didn't steal nothing! False accusation, so what? How's that? Nothing. Look at me. I've been to prison four times. Who's gonna believe I'm innocent? But you, you're new. What happens to you is in your hands now, huh? You need to see to yourself. I don't understand. What's there to understand? Smash against the door? Tell them! Tell them that you want to speak to journalists? Start a mess and they regret putting you here! Yes. Well, don't worry about it so much. Trust me, we'll find the right lawyer for him. Yes. <laughs> I have a trained eagle. She's afraid of her own shadow, yes. We will do everything as best we can. Now just trust me. I'll handle it. Come inside. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. We'll talk later. Keep in touch. What is it? Good day, sir. The new inmate is causing trouble. Kazantsev, he demands to see the press. Once a public announcement. Serious trouble? I understand. All right, you can go now. <sighs> hey, Oleg. That's me again. Oleg, listen. Who is this guy you sent me? You promised the client would be quiet. What is not being quiet is demanding to see journalists. What? Are you going to send them? No, oh, all right. I'll wait. Yes, I brought everything as you said. It should work the way I mm -hmm. said it would. But how do I do it unnoticed? Do I need to teach you everything? Okay, I'll manage myself. Oh, good afternoon, ma'am. What do you think you're doing? Excuse me? Where are the Cousin Sevas? What are you doing here? Uh, 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 I'm Marina's sister. She asked me to come stay here. Marina left. Jesus, what sort of tenants are these? They turned the flat into a drug den. What drug den? What are you talking about? You know what it is. The neighbors told me how they witnessed it. How the police found a bag of money behind the closet. Those criminals hid it in there. Liar, your sister. You better get your rubbish and get out of here. I'm giving you one minute. Get your stuff and go now. Or should I call the police? Call the police. You legally keep tenants, right? Then you have nothing to fear. You cow! Just leave it. It's fine. Get out now. Move on. Well, how are you, Roman? I'm doing great. But when I send you and your cronies to jail, that'll be terrific. Send me? Well, yeah. But what for? You don't know, do you? You're acting weird. <sighs> How are you doing? Take care of yourself. Health is fragile, you know, especially mental health. One day you're a nice person, but the next, you've gone crazy. Have you heard about an incident recently? A guy hanged himself on his tie. No one even knows how he got his hands on a tie. How did he kill himself? No one wanted an investigation. It's a detention center. Nerves, stress. You get it. Move 
gone. Seal the place when you're done with the search. For you, they would have arrested me too. Don't worry, he'll betray you anyway. <sighs> nah. What? It won't help him. He'll get more for organized crime. Congratulations. But they'll definitely come looking for me. They have my fake passport. This one? <gasps> um, That's just look it? here. Let me have a look. Miss Jane Marinova. Uh, it's your Thank birthday. You. Can you see? Oh. Take this document as your new identity. Did you check the date? What date? Well, I tried so hard. Today is your birthday. Thank you so much. Right, here you go. Good. I have to go, thanks. Senor Mancini, I hope the schedule of the project doesn't bother you too much. The schedule of the project shouldn't bother you, actually, because we set the right amount of time aside for it. It'll be just fine. Everything is going according that to plan. That sounds good. As we say, Anton, you work way too hard. <laughs> 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 ah, you're way too kind. Yes. <laughs> to success. To cooperation and success. To success. To success. Hmm. You know, it's very expensive for me. Yes. Please excuse me. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Are you following me or what? I'm not. Why are you here? Well, I'm just sitting here. I'm broke and homeless. Oh. You can stay with me if you want. You know, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Come on, it's fine. Just for one night. <sighs> Only tonight. You can leave again tomorrow if you want. My parents have gone on a business trip for a week, so why not? Well, listen, you saved my ass today. Let me repay you this way. <clears throat> this is my place. No way you live here. <clears throat> Come on in. Thank you. Ta-da! <laughs> Here. This is my mother's china collection. Mm -hmm. My parents are lawyers. They left earlier today. I don't understand. What do you mean? You have good parents. The family's wealthy. You've got such a nice flat to live in. But you still got involved in crime? I don't like them. At all. They forced me to go to law school, but I can't stand all this crap. Is forging documents more interesting? I'm a musician. Okay? Mm-hmm. Here. <clears throat> Just wait. Look. <clears throat> the guitar isn't mine. Mm -hmm. I have to return it in a week. Listen, do you know how much this costs? I worked hard for it. 
Yeah, but my parents don't want to hear about that. But I still write songs. Do you want to hear one of them? Okay, sure, why not? Mount Kilimanjaro And Maasai in the morning It's so cold, so empty And it's freezing like you Like you like you! Alex, Alex, uh, that's very good. Well done. You're definitely very talented. Well played. I didn't think your voice would be so low, but it's nice. Really? Thank you. I can't believe that you liked it. Where's the bathroom? Bathroom? Mm-hmm. Down the May hall. May I go? Of course. Thank you. I just need... Yeah, I get it. Good morning, Anton. I had such a great time, love. So, Inga, while I am in the shower, I would ask you uh, to get dressed and please this don't This is my be... room, Anton. Good morning. Your breakfast, mademoiselle? Madame. Really? Where's your husband? Oh, is that toast? Oh. This looks good. Thank you, Alex. Mm. You didn't answer the question. What should I say? Well, I told you everything about myself. Alex, why are you like a child? What do you want to hear? Tell me something. I don't know anything about you. Who are you? Where are you from? Alex, I'm sorry. I don't understand why you need to hear this. Why? Because I like you. Alex, dear, remind me how old are you? 17? 18? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Alex, that's a big difference. First things first, I'm married. Yeah, that's the case, and I love my husband. Second, I'm 14 years older. That's a huge age gap. This can't be, Alex. You need to find a girlfriend. One that's your own age. Look, firstly, girls my age are stupid. They're dumb. And second, what kind of husband would leave you to the mercy of fate? I don't remember. Neither what I did nor what I said. You have nothing to worry about. You were on top. This was a big mistake. I won't repeat it again. And I beg you. I beg you. You said different things to me last night. Forgive me. I was so happy then. But what's done is done. It was my fault it happened. I am your boss. You are my assistant. All right? That's enough. Yes? Good morning. This is Varyagan's house star company calling you. We have received your CV and would like to invite you for an interview. Oh, yes, of course. 
I'll be there. Thank you. Goodbye. That worked. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I have an interview with Mr. Oleg Baranovsky. Mm-hmm. Jane. Mironova. Yes, I see you. You are on the list over here. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good interview. Thank you. Miss Mironova, can you tell me about you? Why are you applying for an office manager position? You were an accountant. Everything is simple. After everything that happened when I divorced my husband, mm -hmm. I wanted a new life. I moved to the capital and realized finding a job in my field isn't easy. It takes time and I don't have it. So why not start small, but in a bigger place, in a famous company like this? I think it's perfect. That sounds good. We give all of our new employees a trial period. Is that fine? If that's okay, then Thank welcome. Thank you. Here, let me help you. Kate, please give our new employee Jane a tour of the office. Welcome. Mr. Chuikov, let's get back to work. <laughs> Are you sure I haven't met you before? I think I saw you somewhere. No, I don't think so. I moved to the capital recently. Where are you from? I work for an international company. The resume says it all. Here you go. This reception area is your office. Uh, Oleg Baranovsky's office is to the right. Varyagin's is to the left. Your place is nearby. All right. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. Call if you need me. Mm -hmm. So, what do we have here? All right. This is for you, from Switzerland. I know that all beautiful girls love sweets. Milk chocolate? Mm-hmm. But I prefer dark chocolate. Really? Really. <laughs> I saw that coming. Isn't it amazing? Mm. It has nuts, and I'm allergic to them. I'm sorry. Hmm. Good to know. Mm. I really love naughty girls.
Good morning, Taki. Good to see you. Taki, are you all right? You look a little bit pale. I'm all right. Don't worry. Huh? I keep getting scam calls. They've been calling me all morning. I won't answer. Uh, that's right. You, you shouldn't. Uh, I have some news for you. Uh, Roman's wife, Marina, got a job at our company. She works there, but she goes by a new name now, uh, Jane Marinova. She's unrecognizable. Petzer, listen, I'm really not interested in that. But why? You should be interested in this, really. She's going to expose them all. I already said no. I don't want you to help with this. I just want to forget all about it. Excuse me, Petter, but I need to rest. Certainly. Don't worry. Please, uh, get all the rest you need. Uh, don't forget to lock the door. I'll see you. <clears throat> Alex. Why are you doing that? I explained everything. Did you? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, find a girl your age. Is that the explanation you're talking about? Fine. Enough. I'm leaving. Good riddance! Did you think I'd enjoy being used by you like this? I wanted to be honest with you. I showed you my songs. No one has ever heard them. Only you. Cold-hearted witch. Are you there? Tucky, what happened? Oh, Lord, what happened? You look awesome. It's all for you. Suits you. You've lost weight. Lost my appetite. I'll get you out of here soon. Please, just be patient. Relax your arm. What happened to me? I'm a nurse. I came because you had a heart attack. But who called an ambulance? Your friend. She saved your life. 
If not for her, the ambulance would have been too late. She's your guardian angel. I don't know who you're talking about. Here she is. I got everything. Here you go. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Who are you? Don't you know me? I'm Marina, Mr. Kazantsev's wife. It's hard to recognize you now. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Marina. Now I'm Jane. <laughs> Jane. So these are the main directions. Concluding the presentation, I would like to congratulate you colleagues. Our project for the shopping center Evolution has recently found partners, the Italian company Universo Mancini. At the beginning of next week, we will present it to the press, and today I want to hear your opinion, colleagues. I am especially interested in the opinion of those who do not take part in the development and those who can offer a fresh perspective on the advantages and also the disadvantages. Who wants to share something? I'd like to. I'm listening. I am impressed by the main theme of the project, the spiral, as a symbol of evolution. But where are baby care rooms? Are they there? Of course they are. On the seventh floor. There will be a sports and entertainment complex with a skating rink. Playgrounds for extreme sports, as well as an entertainment area for children to play in. Where did she come from? She applied for a job. I feel like I've seen her before. You too? This is not exactly what I had in mind, not at all. The children's entertainment complex is designed for small children, small baby zones on floors with boutiques. I think there'll be more customers. Parents will come and leave their children in babysitting areas and then go shopping. I'm sure that these baby care rooms will raise the profits for the shops, thus we can keep the highest rent price in the area. I like your arguments. Sorry, but what is your name? I haven't seen you before. Jane Miranova. I'm from the sales department. Sorry I didn't get to introduce you. Nice to meet you, Jane. I'm flying to Italy later this month. We'll discuss the idea with the partners when we're there. Thank you. Anyone else wants to speak up? Any opinions, considerations about the project? I asked you not to call me during the day. I'm at work. <sighs> Dino, we are not a couple. No, I don't miss you. Uh, excuse me, um, can you tell me where I can find the company president's office, please? Can't you see that I am on the phone? I just asked a question. Don't be rude. Hello there. Can I help you with anything? Yes, you can. Explain how this clown managed to get a job here. Sorry? Forgive her. She's had a very difficult day. I'm sure Inga already regrets her behavior. She didn't mean what she said. Inga? Is she my son's assistant? Wait, are you telling me you're Anton's mom? Exactly. And you, young lady, what's your name? It's Jane. Mr. Varyagin's in the meeting room. Let me take you to him. Please, feel welcome. Disgusting. Kate, get back to work. Get to it. We need to sign the documents. You should fire her. That woman is so rude. If it weren't for this girl, I would have blown your whole office into pieces. Hello. Hello, Mom. Hello, my son. Thank you very much again. Anytime. Well? Mom, what happened? Why did you come? You ask why? Because when you returned from Italy, you didn't even call your mother. <laughs> Oleg, tell me, would you do this to your God mom? God forbid I do that to her. Hmm, you I'm see? so glad to meet you. Welcome to our company. Thank you. Well, I should get to work. Take it. <sighs> Hello, Mom. Hello. Mom, come let me hug you. You look so fresh. <sighs> well, tell me. What should I tell you? Where did you find her? Inga. I don't care about Inga. No, this one. Jane? 
Mom. That these may be the access codes to password protected files. Mm -hmm. You can try to pick them randomly, it might work. All right, then I'll try to pick them. You. Here you go. Let me have a look. Thank you for agreeing to live with me. I could have not done it myself. It's my pleasure. You're helping me too. But you still need to learn how to manage by yourself. Remember what the doctor said? You should exercise more. You should be more active. You'll sooner recover. I'm not afraid for myself. I'm afraid for you. Baranovsky is an immoral, terrible person. And Faryagin? Faryagin is a creator. But he is blind. Otherwise, he would have understood who his friends really are. Do you think Baranovsky is lying to him? Of course. But Yagin is against fiddling books. Mm -hmm. He pays taxes. The wages of employees are legal. But he only mm -hmm. cares about the creative process. So he entrusted all his financial affairs to his friend Baranovsky. I think that Baranovsky laundered quite a lot of money. I'm sure. But fortunately for us, he's pedantic. So all his laundering must be documented in some form. So if these documents are found, then bringing him to justice will just be a matter of time. We will. I'm sure we will. Hello, is Oleg in the office? No, he went to the construction site. I need to talk to him now, too. Yes, something happened? Look at this, Clause 4.9. Mm-hmm, what's this? This is an agreement with suppliers. If this clause is not removed, the company will suffer great losses. What losses are these? Uh, just look. Here. Clause 4.9. Maybe it's a typo. Well, there. That is a setup. They decided to deceive us. I'll take care of everything myself. Keep working. Yes? May I? Something urgent? Yes, very. Please. Clause 4.9. As soon as I came across this, I came to tell you. <clears throat> Those bastards lied to us. What a clever way. If we had to sign this document, we'd lose half a million. Thank you for your vigilance, Vince. A bonus on me. Hmm. Thank you. Varyagin. Connect me to your boss. Immediately. Jane? Yes, Mr. Tuikov? Bring me the old contracts with the suppliers from the last month, will you? I need them right away. Very well. I have a suspicion.
Here you go. Take a seat. To vigilance. Thank you, but I don't drink at the workplace. Oh, come on, huh? Why not take a shot? Come on, huh? Just a bit. A little bit of whiskey, come on. Excuse me, Mr. Tweekoff, but I have a lot of work to do. Sit, sit. <sighs> hmm? Come on. Get your hands off me. Take your hands off me. Let me go. Somebody oh, come on. help me. You want it. Let go. Somebody help me. Yes. Mr. Varyagin, you need to sign this agreement with the suppliers. Have you checked everything? Yes, certainly. No one can be trusted. Everything must be kept under control. If not for Vince, we would have lost half a million by mistake. Chukov? It was Jane who discovered the mistake. Jane? Chewy cough. <coughs> There's some noise. Vince, you can hear me. Bring the key. Uh, in a moment. Vince, open up. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> You're fired! If you don't leave immediately, I'll call the police and they'll throw you in jail. Got it? Anton, it's not what you thought. Get out! <laughs> Jane, please, let's go. Thank you. Come. I'll make some tea. Thank you. Okay. Which one would you prefer? Uh, this one. Yes, this one. That one? Wild lemongrass. I, I like that one too. I like it a lot. Especially uh, in the evening when you come home and you can enjoy a cup of strong tea. It's a great evening. And you put on some music. What kind do you like? Me? Oh, I love jazz. Really? Jazz? My ex-wife absolutely loathed the sound of it. Mom still thinks that's why. She thinks it's why I divorced my wife. Are you married? No, I'm single. Yes. Mr. Variagin. I've just returned from the construction site. We need to discuss one important detail. We'll discuss it tomorrow. And now go to visit Mr. Smirnov. He will hand you the documents. Right now? Yes, he will be in the office until 9. You can take Ted with you. I will go home in my car. But we need to discuss. There was a problem. The foreman violated the deadlines We'll and... do it later. Tomorrow. All right. As you say. She likes you. I know, but Jane, you surprised me with what you noticed in the contract. And I just happened to have a vacancy for a financial analyst. Your degree is in economics, right? Yes. I officially invite you to take this position. What do you think? I'll gladly take it. Then right now I suggest you move to the office next door and you'll start as soon as possible. You don't like to ponder over decisions, do you? I uh, can't stand that.
Marina, did something happen? I found this photograph on my table today. How did someone get your old photo? I have no idea. Until today, it was in the closet in a box. Taki, did you go anywhere today? No. Did someone come around? You know, we never have any visitors. <gasps> yes, Marina, they did. Who? A plumber came to check the pipes. Leave them alone? Yes. He asked for technical documents for the boiler, and I had to go to the kitchen to find it. Can you tell me what he looked like? <sighs> he was lanky and blonde. He was a very polite young man. Alex. Who? Oh? I'll be back. Very original. Alex? <laughs> Can you introduce us? Mm, yeah. Uh, let me introduce you to my mom. Pleased to meet you. Hello. And this is my, uh, my, uh... You're who? My professor for conflictology. I didn't know you had this subject. Uh, I... It was recently introduced. Yes. Uh, may I have a quick word with your son? Of course. Yes, please, come in. Some tea? No, I'm okay. I don't have much time. Alex? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be back. Uh, don't worry. I won't be long. Go on, go on, go on. Go on! Uh, <laughs> Who do you think you are? Do you want me to tell your mom that you sell fake passports in your free time? Why are you angry? What happened? Was it you? I'm asking, was it you? What's with the old photo? Old photo. I don't understand. Can you Stop tell me what- to me. I know you went to Tucky's flat pretending to be a plumber. Me? This is bullshit. What are you talking about? Stay still. What happened? Stand still. What's this? Wait. Can you explain what you're doing? They recognize you as the plumber that came today. You're dead. What bloody plumber? No, it's not him. He seems nice. Mm. Who is this? It doesn't really matter. 
If not him, then who? Maybe someone who'd remember you from your old life. I don't know. It could be Kate, our administrator. Or Ted, Varyagin's chauffeur. Why would an administrator or a driver do that? What did the Greeks always say? Find the one whom it benefits. Vince? It might be him. But... He himself is a small man. He barely has any authority to make decisions, even if he wants revenge. But Baranovsky does. He's capable of anything. He'd make a deal with the devil for his own benefit. Then why doesn't he just tell Varyagin? I don't know. Maybe it won't benefit him if he does. Be careful around him. Good morning. Good Tell morning. Me, how was Tucky? She's better. Of Thank course. you. Why don't you come and visit her? Uh, well, she doesn't invite me in, and I don't want to appear pushy. Uh, the last time we talked, I angered her. It's probably my fault that she had the heart attack. That really wasn't your fault. And I'm pretty sure that Taki would love to see you again. You really like her, don't you? I do. But she only sees me as her neighbor, nothing more. It happens when you live with someone next door your whole life. No, not our whole life. I just moved into that flat. I spent six months looking for a place. It just so happened that it was the same building, you know? What to do next, I don't know. I served in the Navy for years, lived through storms. Uh, but when I see her, I become shy like a kid. Jane, you're late. Anton's been looking for you. Hurry, don't let me make you late. Yes. I'll cover the costs of the facility. Yes. Good mor- I'm oh, sorry, I'll go now. One second. Don't go anywhere. We're leaving just now. Okay. The documentation has to be in three languages. That's all. We'll talk later. Anton, I just- We'll be back in two hours. Ready? Yes, ready. It's not far, about 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Project will be built. The shopping center will be over there. It's a pity. In what sense? For the environment. Don't worry about it. My projects are environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. Of course, the landscape will be changed. But just imagine the view and the air. It smells like my childhood. My parents and I often went to the countryside. We'd always set up a tent near a river since my dad loved it. Mm. My mother, on the other hand, hated the discomfort. <laughs> but uh, she loved him, and when you love someone, you do anything for them. When did he pass? Ten years ago. I've always wanted to fly in a helicopter. But I'm scared of heights. <laughs> we can do it. All we have to do is trust each other, and you won't be afraid. We should go. I have a lot of work to do. Tell me, 
Don Juan, was it worth it? Losing your job and all? I can deal with her. Just relax. She's already been dealt with. How? It's a little bit of a surprise. I'll tell you in a minute. Just wait a second. For what? For who, not what? The person who did all the work for us. Hmm. One thing you should know, Vince, is that the force of progress is not laziness, as it is in your case, but jealousy. It's female jealousy. Vince, this fragile girl hired a man for us to go in and get the information we needed. Inga, baby, show Vince the photo. Uh, it's Kazansev, so what? Are you really this slow, Vince? Do you see who's next to him? There's no way. So Jane's Kazansev's wife? <laughs> exactly. Do you understand why she came here now? We should go tell Varyagin. No. Not now. Why? Firstly, we have no idea what she managed to dig up on us, and we need to find out. Secondly, Varyagin's unlikely to just fire her like that. He'll want to investigate further, and she might just convince him to conduct an audit. And thirdly, Varyagin clearly likes her. And a moment of personal weakness can make this situation rather interesting later on. We can even benefit from it. Who's this we? All of us, of course, including you. Don't worry, Varyagin will be your lover, all in good time. You'll have to work for it, though. We'll have to uh, control things from the inside and get things in order. <laughs> she doesn't know who she's dealing with. I'm gonna really need your help right now. Good evening, Mr. Varyagin. You're expected. Hello. Can you play along? What do you mean? Ma. Boy, about time. Uh, hello. 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 Well, why are you so late? Reports. And work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. <sighs> you might think I'm old-fashioned, but I want my son's fiancé to at least Deem dinner with her future mother-in-law above work. Would you please forgive us? When life gets busy, one forgets what's important. to drink to you, thanks to your future. But know that your future depends only on the two of you. I'm not talking about money, but about cherishing your love for one another. Feelings are like, like a very delicate fabric. If you don't take care of them, if you don't treat them with grace like a flower, those feelings will die when you don't water them with love. Yes, my darling. Love is like a plant that needs water and warmth to live. It needs attention. Love is hard work. Excuse me. Yes. Don't tell me it's already time. Okay, give me five minutes. I'm on my way. Bye. Excuse me. I have to go. <laughs> my friend and I are going on a trip. Well, that's exciting. Well, a toast to you. Thank you. Jane, I hope to see you again when I get back, maybe when we have more time. Certainly. Yes. Okay. Mother. Yes. Take care of yourself. Sure. Goodbye. I hope you Thank have a you. good trip. And think about what I told you. <laughs> yes, certainly. All right, bye. See you, Mom.
please forgive my mother for her obsessive romanticism. <laughs> and forgive me, if you can. What was that? Don't judge me for this. I love my mother very much, but... But? But she's exhausted me with her talks about a new girlfriend, marriage, and grandchildren. And she seems to like you. Uh, now she can go without worrying about me. So you knew the time of her departure and planned everything out so that we would arrive at the last minute? Yes. <laughs> and what's the plan now? To have dinner. To you. An office affair. How unoriginal. Good evening. Uh, I decided to <clears throat> come and see how you were doing as your neighbor. <sighs> it's for you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Uh, is everything all right over here? In what sense? I mean, like maybe a water tap that's leaking uh, or some electrical problems? Uh, no, everything works fine. Uh, well, goodbye. Want some tea? Yes, that would be nice. Well, come on in then. Thank you for the lift, Anton. And thank you for an unexpected good evening. Unexpected? Don't take offense. But it started with me in the role of a bride. I didn't think I would recover. <laughs> well, at least it seems I redeemed myself. You know, for a man who doesn't know how to be frank with his mom, you're a pretty good flirt. <laughs> how about another cup of coffee, then? Good night. Anton. <laughs> I've always uh, wanted to ask you, but keep forgetting to. Mm -hmm. What does it mean when people say to slip the cable in the Navy? I've always perceived this idiom to have only a fatal connotation. Uh. To slip the cable usually means to untie the mooring cables, so when the ship leaves, they run overboard into the water. Oh. <laughs> Good evening. If I interrupt it, I can just go... No, you didn't, dear. I have to go. I've kept you. Uh, there is no need to see me off. It's not very far. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Mm. Take care, dear. Goodbye. You're blushed. Are you feeling okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I just... I don't think it's right. Anton... He's a really good man. And I'm lying to him. So what you're really saying is that you're feeling remorse for using him. That's exactly it. If I had known that he had nothing to do with Roman's laundering schemes, 
I would have gone to him and told him everything. Now it's too late. Hmm. I understand that. But you're doing all of this to save the man you love. Am I right? What do you think about Petter? <laughs> it won't work between us. Why? I don't know. He's so shy, so clumsy, I can't be the first one to approach, can I? Why not? Because I'm a woman and it's against the rules. There are no rules. You need to go with what you're feeling. That's the only rule there is. May I? Yes. Mr. Baranovsky, Anton asked me to clarify some estimates with you. Excuse me, Jane, but I'm very busy right now. He said this was urgent. It'll only take five minutes, no more. <sighs> All right, fine. What is it? Show me, please. It's this and this part. Yeah? The limits have been exceeded. Leave the estimates to me. Uh, I'll figure it out and give you an answer when I can. Okay, certainly. <sighs> Jane, you can go back to work. Mm -hmm. know that. You know how this works. Mr. Baranovsky, I do know how it works, and that's why I have an influence on this. Fine, I'll do my best to figure it out. Excuse me, I have another call. <clears throat> the old witch has gone mad. What's the problem now? I figured out how to avoid going over budget without redoing it. If you want, I can make the changes. Excellent. That's good news. Um, any more questions? No, none. You can go. <laughs> uh Hello, George. I found the documents. I have them here. What's next? Get rid of Mary and make sure you do it quietly, or this won't go in our favor. Make sure she can't come back to haunt us. Will do. Photos, as you can see, were taken in public. They're not even trying to hide it. Why are you showing me this? Out of solidarity. You still don't understand? I didn't set you up, dude. It was Varyagin. And now you know why he'd want to take you out. I need a listening device. A what? A listening device. <laughs> I 
and I need a chopper. You know, for traveling, I'm getting tired of these traffic jams. I'm serious. Alex, I will pay. I really don't like this. It's like a pig in a poke. Why should I help you? I don't even know you. Yes, you saved me once, and I'm grateful for that. I'll but tell I you can't... everything. Alex, please. No one will help me except you. So please. All right. I'll do it. Thank you. Come in. May I? Oh, you seem to visit my office a lot these days. Do you want to go back to being my secretary? I would love to, Mr. Parnovsky, but I have things to do. And what's this? The RTD numbers don't add up. What do you mean they don't add up? They do. Well, it's not a small sum. I haven't told Mr. Varyagin mm -hmm. yet, but... It looks right to me. Yes, the database does, but not the original documents. The RTD financial costs. It looks right. And the line below? And as a consequence... Yes, indeed. It could be a typo. Are the papers already in process? Not yet. Mm -hmm. well, leave this with me. I'll deal with it. Don't worry. Thanks for flagging it. You can go. Did you do everything right? Of course. Mm. Why is she still here then? Should we retire her permanently? How? Lock her up while we deal with everything. Professional too. Be careful what you say, especially on the phone. Hello? I've set it up. Please be careful. I'm getting signals. Before I worked for him, right? Of course not. Can you explain what's going on? I'm trying to help you here. And all you do is smile. You know... I'm grateful to you. I am really. If in order to restore justice you have to sleep with him, I don't mind. I understand. What? It won't count as cheating, but more of a self-sacrifice. I get it. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm just trying to justify your actions right now. My actions? Yeah, your actions! Do you think this is easy for me? You have no idea what I have to endure. so confident that Kazantsev will persuade her to leave the company. She's not all that naive. She's digging for something. I find myself waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm even tempted to hand her over to our architect friend. Let's rather skip the details on the phone. Do you really understand what will happen if you tell the truth about her to our friend? The truth will be revealed, and he won't be able to do what we planned. What we dedicated so much effort to. I understand. Then think this through an act. We can't let it go on like this. Mm. I'm sorry, I have a visitor. What are you doing here?
Was it necessary to come here? To show your face? Why not call? If you only knew how easy it was for us to get access to mobile phones and emails, you would stop using them altogether. What do you want? What do I want? The delivery boy only brought a quarter. Oleg dear, where's the rest? <laughs> Why are you so anxious? You will get the rest later. I don't have the money now. You don't have money now. Oleg Dorman, later is not a number or a date. This is a problem, okay? I won't wait for your delivery boy again. You have three days to wire the rest to my account. <laughs> I'm surprised you went to take that route. <laughs> Nothing is easier than tracing a bank transfer, you know that. Should I really leave a trace? Relax. <laughs> Everything will go according to our plan, don't worry. I hope so. Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry. I mm, was just thinking. I want your advice for a project. I'm listening. Maybe we can take a walk and discuss it. Do you mind? No, not at all. Look. Did something happen? Nothing. I got distracted. Tell me about the project. Okay. I was thinking about your idea for baby areas. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be just another standard children room with toys and a kind nanny. Uh, I want something mm -hmm. to be unique about it, you know? What's wrong with the standard? You can fill a room with all kinds of different toy cars, a million gadgets and all the video games you want, but it'll never replace a loving person. The main focus should be the staff. You'll need activity organizers and nannies with education and a lot of experience. That's very good advice. <laughs> You're right. You see that bear? Mm -hmm. I had one like it. Yeah. An exact copy, actually. I kept it with me and told it all of my secrets. I remember I even fed it a few marshmallows. Back when marshmallows were still good. Not like how they are today. Then what happened to it? I don't know. My father got relocated to the capital for work very suddenly, and so we had to leave in a hurry. I forgot him. I was very upset. I mean, I felt like I had lost a friend. It taught me to appreciate the people who are around me. It's open! Absolutely stunning today. <laughs> Thank you. You do too? I've never seen you like this. Uh, uh, last time I wore this was when I received an award. Um, <clears throat> the best mechanic in the Navy award, to be exact. The mayor awarded me with the title. <clears throat> yeah. Tucky, would you... like to go to the cinema with me? Yes, with pleasure.
message or something. I heard it when I woke up. That's from my brother. Hmm. Seems he got sick. He wants me to go and visit him and bring him some medicine and food. You have a brother? You didn't tell me. My half-brother. We're not particularly close. But he doesn't have someone to help him. Today's my day off. I can come with you to help. You have the presentation today. I'll cancel. <laughs> Thank you, but I can manage. <laughs> How did you get here so fast? Uh, I wasn't far away. I was at Anton's. I see. It's close. So, how did it go with him? Does he have a nice flat? Alex. Let me grumble for a sec. Anyway, the prosecutor visited our friend. Mm -hmm. You were right. He's part of this. He asked for his share. He was also on the phone with George three times. Mm -hmm. Since it's over the phone, I can't understand all of it, but they're plotting to set up Variagen. George said they should meet up at the same spot. Anyway, mm -hmm. listen to it. Figure it out. Thank you. I don't owe you anything? Nothing. OK, thanks, Alex. Look, mm -hmm. do you want to take a walk right now? The weather is nice. I'm so sorry, Alex, but I've got a lot of work to do. Bye. Bye. Dear guests, Colleagues, good afternoon. Today, we're here to present to you the shopping mall named Evolution in the residential complex called the City of Dreams. Uh, this is a complex of houses in a quiet area just a few minutes from the city. It has everything you could possibly ever dream of. It has duplex apartments with a fireplace, panoramic windows overlooking sorry, the forest. I should have given you a lift. Top security. How is he? He's doing fine. Thank you. Excuse me? Marina? Who? Me? I almost didn't recognize you. My name's Jane. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You look exactly like someone I know. It's okay. It happens. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Seems I have a doppelganger in the city. You can't have a doppelganger. Colleagues and guests, let's welcome the president of our company, Mr. Anton Varyagin. Thank you. Mr. Varyagin, please tell us more about uh, the City of Dreams project. I would love to, but I think the head of the sales department, Mr. Oleg Varanovsky, would do a much better job. Let's welcome him. <laughs> Has anyone seen Oleg? I don't understand. What don't you get? Do you want to rot in jail? No. Then do it now. Listen. She's not your woman anymore. I mean, she spent the night with him. I gave her permission. <laughs> you gave her permission? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're an idiot if you think that a woman would sleep with someone else to save your ass. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. You have to make a choice soon. It's in your best interest. Dear guests, our presentation has come to an end. Please don't forget to collect your gift bags on your way out. What's new around here, hmm? Thank you, Kate. It was perfect. She was worried since this was her first one, but I think she did a very good job. Yes, she did. What a cute couple. I just hate her. Don't get too upset. Tomorrow will be her end. The carriage will turn into a pumpkin then her suit will turn into rags. 
Are you okay? You look pale. I'm fine. Just hmm. tired. Uh -huh. See you around. <laughs> I only want alcohol. Baranovsky. Yeah. Where were you? At the construction site. Uh, nothing serious. I just had to check on the progress. I have to go. Mm. Do you want to get out of here? Please. Mom, please don't scream. Goodness, I'm so happy. You have to go to Varyagan immediately and tell him. Mom, I can't do this. What do you mean you can't? Why not? Mom, the child isn't his. But that doesn't matter, darling. I promise you I won't take too long. Marina, please calm down. Open the door, Marina. to know. I have to go and tell him. Where are you going? It's already late. I love him. I can't lose him. You won't lose him. Don't be silly. <laughs> you will explain everything to him and he will understand. I know he'll understand. Are you busy? Bring him in.
You may go. What is it? I'm listening. I want to make a statement. But before I do it, I want to be absolutely sure that I won't go to jail. Very well. The initiator of the money laundering scheme at Mr. Ryagin's company was my wife, Marina Kazantsev, who is currently still an employee there, working under the alias of Jane Marinova. That is very interesting indeed. Could you maybe put that down in writing? Yes, a tour for two people. Of the best one. What is included in a romantic trip? <laughs> Wait, that is what it's called? Please, go on. Listen, Boris, uh, can you send me the info via email? And please, be sure to include photos and videos. Of the yacht, the islands, and the hotel. I'm waiting. Thanks a lot. Hello. Why are you so sad? You haven't prepared for the meeting, right? Whatever happens, we won't reschedule it. Anton, there's a problem. <sighs> well, go on. What is it? It's about Jane. Uh... She's not who she claims to be. got up, Marina. It's time to have breakfast. No, 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 I don't have time to eat. I overslept. I have a meeting. And before the meeting, I still want to talk to Anton. I want to tell him the truth. Shit, I'm late. So then, in this way, we can save 30% of the total sum. If you, uh, if you support this idea, Anton, then I'll start preparing the documents today. Anton, did you hear me? Yes, thank you. If there are no questions for Oleg, then I'll be expecting to see your reports on Monday. I'll need the analysis earlier, by the end of the week. You may all go. Anton, how are you doing? I'm good, Oleg. I know how hard this is. Can I help you with anything? No. I am doing fine, thank you. Mm. All right. Bye. 
Kate? I'm listening, Mr. Varyagin. Has Miranova come to the office yet? Uh, she's already heading your way. Thank you. Hello, Anton. I know I'm late. I'm so sorry. Anton, I have to talk to you. It's something important. I know everything. Your name is Marina. You are the wife of Roman Kasansev. He tried to rob my company, but he got caught. To save him, you broke into my office, and then... How is that even possible? Anton, let me explain. Throughout my whole life, I've seen a lot of evil people, but never to this degree. Anton, it's not like that. Please listen to me. I... You were ready to sleep with me in order to get access to the documents, so you could forge them and get your thief husband out of prison. No, I didn't. It's... it's disgusting. Anton, please listen to me. I am Roman Kasantsev's wife, but I came here for a completely different purpose. You don't need to explain. The only thing I want is for you to write a letter of resignation and then disappear from my life forever. Why do you enter without knocking, Kate? Why are these strangers here? Mr. Varyagin? They are... they're from the police. Mr. Varyagin, we're authorized to detain one of your employees. Her name is Miss Marina Kazantsev. But we don't have an employee under that name. It's me. I am Marina Kazantsev. That's me. But on what ground? Based on the confession that was received from your husband, Mr. Roman Kazantsev. You were the mastermind behind his money laundering scheme. Is that so? You're even more cynical than I thought. This was all about the money. Anton, it's a lie. I was not involved in any schemes. You can tell the prosecutor about that. He'll figure it out. Kate, please call Taki. Stay with her. Explain that this is a misunderstanding. She has a heart condition and stress is bad for her, okay? Of course. I'll tell her. I knew that... I'd seen her before, but I couldn't remember where. Mr. Varyagin? I'm alone. I'm alone. Who else could I come with? Just don't expect me to pity you. I've already done more for you than you deserve. Here. Here are the keys, the address is on the envelope. Hmm. The apartment is very small. But it's enough for now. You'll stay there until the trial. And then... You'll go to your hometown. Got it? Yeah, I get it. Any questions? Yeah, I want to see Marina. <laughs> what for? I want to. Mm, I think it's unnecessary. Mm, she can ruin everything for you. She might trick you or try to manipulate you. Don't worry about that. She won't succeed. I promise you. <laughs> okay. You'll get five minutes at most. That's enough. Kazansev, step outside. Face the wall, hands behind your back. Move on. Face the wall. Move on. feeling. I asked you a question, how are you? Do you like being on the opposite side of the bars? It sucks, right? 
Why did you do that? Why did I? You seriously don't understand. Did you think that you could fuck with anyone you want and I'd silently rot in jail? Nicely done, Marina. All I wanted was to make enough money to make <laughs> you happy. You're lying. What? You don't care about me or us. You were saving yourself. I put everything in place. I was waiting for you. You. You turned out to be a big whore. Now you'll have time to think. Think carefully. Think about what you've done. But me, I have my own plans. I understand how much it hurts. I went through something like this. Betrayal is terrible. And especially like this one. Everyone says that time heals. But I know that something completely different helps. First, you need to change the environment. Get rid of everything that reminds you of what happened. I mean, it's great that we're flying to Rome together, isn't it? Rome is medicine in itself. And secondly, I've read that there is a law of displacement. Well, psychological protection. A person subconsciously or consciously begins to remove bad memories. They begin to replace them with something that is pleasant. Some people go to the cinema, others find a new hobby. Anyway, I know what can make you happy again. It will definitely... Remove the nonsense for you. So basically, I am pregnant. With your child, Anton. Anton, look! What do you want? I want to talk to the investigator who was in charge of my husband's case. It's Mr. Valerie Boykov. I demand to be interrogated in his presence. You'll be interrogated when the time comes. Anything else? Why can't I have visitors? You're already out of here. I didn't ask for it. And by law, I have a right to two visitors a month. Look, Inga. This is a surprise for me. But I, I realized how important this is. I know that this might be scary for you, too. Although I still don't get how this could have happened. Anton, please calm down. All men react this way. It's normal. Just relax. Inga, I won't abandon the child. I feel that he'll make us happy. I think that it'll be a boy. A son. Inga, there is no us. There's you, there's me, and there's the child. I'm ready to fully provide for him. That's all. And I'll get rid of him since no one needs him. Move on. My lord. You look so weak and tired, darling. How are you, Marina? I'm doing okay. I brought some fruit and a pie. They'll give it to you after checking it. Tucky, please don't cry. Stress is bad for your heart. Petter and I are looking for a good lawyer for you. Petter's niece works at the prosecutor's office. She knows everybody there. Thank you. I went to see Mr. Varyagin. I wanted to tell him about Baranovsky, but I didn't find him. He's in Italy. When he returns, 
I will. I'll try again. This is not right. An innocent person can't be sent to prison. Ducky, look. Oh. I... I need to talk to the investigator. His name is Valerie Boykov. But now he handed my case over to his deputy. I need you to find him. And to give him this. Hey, stop it! What's that? Show me your hands. Why are there bruises on her arms? I asked you a question, young man. Are you torturing her in here? What? I'll complain to the prosecutor and you'll be fired from here. Am I clear? The visit is over. Stand up now. Listen to me. Hedder and I won't leave you. Thank you. Hands behind your back. Move on. Antonio, it's good to see you two again. We're happy to see you again. It's a pleasure. Hello. Mm. Anton, is something wrong? Uh, no. Mm. Everything is fine. We haven't checked in our hotel yet. So exhausted after the flight. We came by to say hello. That was the right decision. I missed you. Dino! Signor Mancini uh, is offering some wine for this meeting. Um, maybe later, at dinner. Okay, Shall we do it now or at dinner? Right now. This is purely symbolic. It's the Italian tradition of aperitif. To peace. Salute. And to health. Yes, to health. <laughs> <laughs> Busy. Mr. Boykov, do you have a minute? I was asked to deliver this. They said it's urgent. Who asked you? A woman who visited Kazantsev today. Put it on the table. Okay, you may go now. Mom, he openly said that he doesn't want me. How did he say that to you exactly? He said that he would not abandon the child, but I should not count on more. That's excellent news. What's great about that? Do you know what you're talking I about? Do, but you are not familiar with the male way of reasoning. Be careful when you tell a man about marriage and fatherhood. Prepare him slowly, bit by bit. But you told him all at once. Mom, I'm sorry, I have a visitor. If it's him, show deep resentment. You're sentimental and vulnerable. Mom, please stop. We'll talk later. Hello. Hi there. This is for you. What for? Well, because I missed you. I waited for you. Thank you. And also... I... I love you. Dino, you're... incapable of love. You're a polygamous man. You're impudent and unscrupulous. I'm sure you slept with women while I was gone, am I right? No, you're wrong. I didn't. But you will in the future. No, I won't. I've changed. I don't want anyone but you. Dino, not now. I've had an exhausting flight. I need a bath. I'm very tired. Just leave.
Jess. I said leave. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what you're talking about. You understand everything perfectly well. We both know that. I have evidence of your involvement in the scheme with my husband. <clears throat> Moreover, I know what is going to happen to you. I heard a conversation between Baranovsky and Chwikov about the need to deal with you. Mm -hmm. You cost Baranovsky too much. Besides, he's afraid of blackmail on your part. But now, they devised a plan. You interested? I'm curious. Mm. Listen carefully. This is the plan. The courier brings you your share, and then you are immediately arrested for taking a bribe. This is how the money will be presented to the investigation. Why do you think Baranovsky insists on a courier? What could be the reason? <sighs> Listen here. You're saying such strange things. <laughs> but I'm not very interested in this whole story. You aren't interested, huh? Well, I guess I'll wish you a pleasant time in prison. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Boykov, whether you wish it or not, Baranovsky will still end up in jail. And when he does go, he'll drag you with him. I offer you a win-win plan. So, how did you convince him? Blackmail and some lies. Are you scared? <laughs> it's not so funny. Can you help me one more time? Please, Alex. Of course I can. I'm eternally indebted to you. Forget it. You paid your debt already. Alex, what I'm asking you to do concerns the life of someone dear to me. Anton? You love him? I do. But if you refuse, I will understand. I won't. Thank you. I won't refuse. What's the plan? We need to record Baranovsky and George's conversation during their meeting. We will need another listening device. Could you get it? Yes, I'll try. <sighs> okay, you see, I can't go there myself. Baranovsky might see me and wrap up the meeting. Understood. Thank you, Alex. Hello. Uh, did something happen to you? I can hardly recognize you on this trip. I don't recognize myself too. Hmm. Let me guess. It's about a woman, hmm? Exactly. Although, she doesn't exist anymore. Well, I mean, I lost the one who I really loved. Hmm. She was using me. I'm sorry. I've got a flight. It's in two hours, but I don't know why I should fly home. Nobody's waiting for me. There's nothing good here either. And... Now there's problems with the other one I loved. Inga. Yes. We had sex and I don't even remember. She says that she's pregnant and now she's threatening to have an abortion if I don't stay with her. Inga is pregnant. <sighs> Anton, that's not... That isn't your child, Anton. That's my child. You didn't have sex with her. You couldn't have had anything with her because... What do you mean? Uh, I'll explain later. Thank you. 
Thank you, Anton. Thank you. Uh, tell me what you're talking about. Inga! Listen, I'm not letting you go anywhere. And I won't let you... Don't kill our child. Do you know how did you know about that? You and I, we have... There's only one way to solve this. We must... We must get married. Right now. No, Dino. Can you imagine yourself being a father? Hmm? You're bankrupt. Your uncle constantly complains that you're wasting his money. You don't have your own business. I'm you're only ready pretending to, change. to be a businessman. I promise man. I'll change. Oh. I'll make you happy. No, Dino. Don't go. I'm the only heir to my uncle's legacy. It's true. We made an agreement. After I get married, I'll get a villa. And also, a part of his business as well. When he finds out about this, he... He will automatically... He'll automatically send half a million. Not in Liris. As you understand. Listen, I'll talk with Anton myself. You will stay here. I'll even introduce you to my mother. I promise you, Inga. We'll raise our child together. because of money. Dino! It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm so sorry. The dude who was meant to sell me the device just bailed on me. But I fixed it. Look, I've got a recorder. I'll do everything in the best possible way. Okay. Are they inside? Yes, one of them. Here's the second one. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. There's bad news. They went to a separate room. Damn it. I'll just have to think of something. I have an idea. Good evening. Will the flight, uh, PS-507 from Rome arrive? Are there any delays? That plane's arrival will follow flight PS-306. Uh -huh. It'll land at 8 o'clock. Thanks a lot. Don't worry about that. I'd also prefer if it happened at the airport. 
Did you order a champagne? No. This is a gift from the owner. Should I open it for you? No need to. We'll manage. Go now. That's a strange gift to receive. It's a cheap. <laughs> Stepanov completely lost his mind. I'll teach him a lesson for being frugal. <laughs> An inspection will change his mind. You bastard. I almost got fired because of you. Can't you see that's my badge? Read what's written here. Dimitri. Take off your apron now. I'm Dimitri too. Are you new? Uh-huh. The boss hired you. Uh -huh. So where's your uniform? Oh, uh, well... Boss, the new guy lost his way around here. Who the hell are you? A week ago, our man was fired from the customs office. What a shame. We could arrange that Bariag and he's found guilty for smuggling drugs. He'll get 8 to 12 years in prison and acid confiscation. Although, three to eight years sentence for storage is also okay. You just need to plant the drugs on him. Ideally, in a safe. I don't know the code. Oleg, that is not my problem. If the safe doesn't work, find another place. But just make sure that it looks believable. Leave the rest to the experts. Did you understand everything clearly? You could have knocked my damn teeth out! You moron. Alex? Come here. Let me see. Stop! Stop! Give this to me! Sit over here. Did they beat you? You need something cold on your face. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back inside and ask for ice. <laughs> Did you put the voice recorder inside? Oh, come on. <sighs> Yeah, it's in the place. Thank you. But how will I get back? I have an idea. I'll go inside first. You follow and pick up the recorder. Then I'll immediately take a taxi to the airport. I want to have enough time with Anton, so send it to me by email. Okay. Do you have a lighter? What's it for? Hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, may I take you to your table now? Yes, thank you. Are you in luck? There's a wonderful table by the window. Thank you, but first I need the restroom. Can you direct me? Is that way? Right? So we'll be on time. According to the GPS, the road isn't busy. Uh, 
Alex? Did you get it? Yes, I got them. Thank you. Did you listen to them? Not yet. I can't right now. I'm in a cab. Did you? Yeah. They're going to plant drugs in Varyagin's office tomorrow. And do you know why? Baranovsky's helping George get Varyagin's business. I see. Thanks, Alex. Okay, bye. It's weird. The GPS didn't show there was a traffic jam. And what if you try and turn around? What do you mean? We're stuck on all sides. What can I do? You'd be better off walking like 70 meters and catch another cab. Okay, thank you. Here you go. Mm -hmm. He started the fire. I'm sure it was him. What do you mean, guys? I, I, I almost suffocated in here. Show us what's in your pockets, bastard. What's in your hand? Talk later, Alex. I'm at the airport. Anton's almost here. Marina. Later, Alex. Wait, I have to tell you. Anton! Anton, please listen to me, please. It's important. We have nothing further to discuss. If you don't want to listen to me, listen to this. Mount it's Kilimanjaro. Where is it? There should be a recording of Oleg's conversation with George about how they plan to take your business away from you. They're planning on planting drugs on you. You need a psychiatrist. Don't hang up, please. I'm sorry. I know that I let you down. I accidentally sent you the wrong file. And those morons from the restaurant took away my voice recorder, so I can't send you the right one. I understood that already. I'll but talk later. <clears throat> Colleagues, I need to draw your attention to something to the fact that we must make the most of the materials that are produced in our region to the conditions of the proposal. It is very important. Another issue that we must definitely discuss is... Yes? Good afternoon. We have received information that you, Mr. Varyagin, are involved in drug trafficking. And that at this moment, in your office, in the tea box, there are two kilograms of cocaine. That's nonsense. Anton, look. We won't leave it like this. Where did you get that information? We're not required to answer that question. Please, have a look at the warrant. Before we start, I'd like to ask that you and you become attesting witnesses. Yes, you. The rest are free to go. This is a big mistake. I'm shocked.
Why do you need to leave so urgently, Marina? I just can't stay here anymore. Yes, Alex? Hi. I have great news. I got my voice recorder back. I paid them a little, but all the recordings are safe and sound. Those fools probably listened to them and got scared. They decided to get involved with criminals. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So, when will you pick up the recorder? Never, Alex. Please send it via email to Anton, that's all. And... Thanks for everything. Goodbye. I'm going to miss you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. We apologize to you, Mr. Varyagin. The disinformer will be held accountable for false information. All the best. What was the point of that fiasco? Stop it, Oleg. You're dramatic. Go wait in your office. Don't try to run away. It won't be hard to find you. Anton? What do you mean? Uh, do you think it was me? Hmm? I asked you to leave my office. Kate, please stay here. The number you are calling is not available. Kate, tell me, when Jane... <clears throat> Marina... Did she come here before? Did she do this? It was me. Marina asked me to do it. We met in the park. She gave me marshmallows and the bear. Where is Marina now? I don't know. Uh, she was probably staying with Taki. I see. Where's Marina? She decided to go home, so she left for the bus station. Home? Where is she from? Which city? Oh, I can't remember now. It slipped my mind. Uh, but I remember I heard her booking a ticket and asked about the platform. The bus leaves from platform five. Thank you. He won't make it. The bus is gonna leave now. Your mind. I just Marina. arrived here. Previous bus is already on its way. Forgive me. Marina. So happy that you didn't leave. You should rather be under house arrest instead. <sighs> what am I saying? I love you. And I don't want you to leave. I.
Gonna fly now? Yes. But I'm afraid of heights. You have nothing to fear. We're together. The main thing is to trust me. Thank you for this. Hold this. Uh -huh. 